date from 1867 to 1981 to now 2021 to see all of our rights suddenly wiped out for callous and powerful reasons by those who forget from whence they came. Ours is a country worth fighting for. Listen to me, I was seven years old before I became a Canadian. I wasn't born a Canadian, but I can tell you right now, I'm a Canadian now, and I want to defend what we've had and what we know we can continue to have in this country. And you and me are not going to take a back seat to all those who are trying to, to, to somehow excuse what happened. We're not going to take a back seat to these people. We're going to stand next beside them or above them and tell them that we want a prosperous, secure and free Canada for the future, for our children and for our grandchildren. And you have no right to try to steal that away from us. From Tofino to Iqaluit to Bonavista to Niagara Peninsula, we must become united as Canadians, as free Canadians, understanding our history, understanding the history of our planet, and put that all in context for tomorrow, so that we can be a proud, free country in the northern part of North America. We're not going away, Mr. Horgan. We're not going away, Mr. Trudeau. We're going to stand and be counted and to make sure that we restore the Charter Rights and Freedoms which everybody fought so hard to get. Stay around. Thank you for coming. Confederation, don't want A fantastic day uh, with uh, the proposal and a workout yesterday, last night, and before some people late last night, one or two o'clock this morning, uh, before more premiers at breakfast, put it on the table with the Prime Minister at exactly 9.02 this morning, uh, negotiated from there at 10.30, each time we caucused, uh, based on the, the proposal that we presented, uh, there was some uh, negotiation back and forth, and lo and behold, a lot of it came uh, an agreement which we're now going to announce to the Canadian people.